Alright, we said we would reboot, but we didn't, because we need to talk to the Cactus Man. Welcome back to, to West of Loathing. We have a salad. Salad. Howdy, Cactus Man. Howdy yourself, and the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer, and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. That's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. Oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being cactus. No! <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation process inside the cactus part of me keeps me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. Wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? No, oh, sorry. Well, if you happen to find one, keep me in mind. Will do, Bill. Ooh. Nope, you're not allowed in Topeka anymore, remember? Oh, God. What did we do? Main men. Oh. I guess that's just it. We just come back. Okay. I think it just automatically saves. Oh, I'm stepping in cow pies. That's what the yucks are. Dirt water. Need a horse. <laughs> Got a broken board. Gone drinking. So he's in the saloon. I'm going to assume the crazy eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at your attention. Where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Well, I. You can't drink it without a hat. Taint proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Check out the box. Look through the hat box and find a battered derby. Looks like something you'd wear. You grab it. <laughs> no, thanks, sir. Pete. Thanks, Pete. Gives you a friendly, somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller. Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Feller. No pressure. Alright, I'll keep it in mind. Weird. The tune. People spit into it. You know, without even looking at it, it's absolutely disgusting. Look at it. Yep, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco, spit, chewing gum. It even looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell, even from a distance, smells horrible. Look closer. You're now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what's wrong with you. Is there something shiny at the bottom? Get it. You your hand towards the spittoon. Before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a God. greasy fog enveloping the thinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Possibly some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. Got an item. Nasty ring. Ew. These guys are playing poker, at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Good luck, guys. We can't play because we have no meat. You already have a hat. What would you do with two? Someone glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. Howdy, I'm Dan. Howdy, Dan. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town holster. Hostler. I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. He's Horace the horse seller. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, the horse is just flying out the door. Business is booming? No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh, is that why you're here drinking instead? Yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious cycle things. Let me need a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. Probably leave him alone. I'm a snake oiler. I must be like the snake. BS horsery. Horses are a thousand meat. How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hostling. Tell you the truth, though, it's oh he's a hostler. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> really? To tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh god, yes, thank you. Please, I'll go fetch them myself, but except for this injury. Give the 300 meat for each for finding them. How many are there? Three. Here, let me see your map. They're pretty much all, we run away at the same places. 
So Ore Hole Mine, Boring Springs Boneyard, Thousand Snakes Gulch. Thousand we're, Snakes Gulch? We're a snake oiler. That sounds like there's a thousand snakes there. I think they like environments like them that are thematically appropriate. Here, you should find <laughs> When you find one, clean these oats. Let's send them back here. Bag of homing oats. How's it work? They're special pigeon-infused oats. Okay, will do. See ya. <laughs> Typical horse. So now we need to go to our map. Let's go to... Orhole Mine. This definitely does not bear closer scrutiny. <laughs> we got some meat in the ore cart. Hmm. Blasting cap storage, plungers, both kinds, tools. The elevator alone for now. Can't get past this rubble. Well, we need blasting cap storage. You know what? For a stick figure game, these shadows are really intense. Need a crowbar. Unrefined meat nugget. Okay, wait, wait, wait. All right, I got it, I got it. Got to call up the tools cart first to get... It's a cargo elevator, not a people elevator. Ah. Toolbox, but it's locked. Plungers? Oh, for the TNT. Take one of these plungers. Hook up the plunger to it. Got the blasting caps. <laughs> so we need tools. To eat my salad while we wait. Oh, but we need the key. Hmm. If only I learned how to do lock picking. Okay. Look out here. Oh man, this is amazing. Okay, so we can't do shit here yet. Not yet. Well, let's go down to the Boring Springs Boneyard. Alright. Our founder, Zephaniah Boring. 1806-1885. He was actually a really interesting guy. <laughs> Benjamin Crockett, 1320 to 1364. He showed up way too early. <laughs> Beauregard Skelton Captain, 3rd Cavalry, 1820 to 1866. This grave is really noisy. That is zombie. Scuffle it is. Ow. You. Yeah. This guy wouldn't stay boy. put. Approach the horse. Hi there. Hi, I'm a friend, okay? Hey! It's a little strange. How do you do that with opening your mouth? No, no, no. This is the ghost. Hey. Pat her on the nose. Pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you'd want an extra saddle blanket to keep, it from, keep your butt from freezing. Feed her the oats. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. Hand out a handful of flowers. She just kind of stares into it. Please don't look at me like that. Add her on the nose again. Yep, still cold. Yep, still cold. Try the oats again. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm going to try to make oats spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them. I don't have anything handy to grab bones with. Grave dirt? <laughs> okay. Weird. Okay. Add some grave dirt to the oats. Sprinkle the oats just a bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse grazes expressionlessly at them and then eats them. With that, she glides away in the direction of town. Bizarre. Devoted a husband, beloved daughter, a baby. Oh. I have a feeling there's something to do with that grave. Put a thousand snakes gulch. 
Man, this place sure is full of snakes. Got a shiny rock. Hmm. Let's shoot this snake. Okay, hit it with the board. Collect one venom and one medicine. You've slain a snake. Before long, they'll call you Snake Murder and Dan. Ow, oh, dang it. I got another snake. Well, I guess it's not called one snake gulch. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, let's shoot that snake. Okay. Two venom and a medicine. Uh. I don't think so. This game is not like po poison. Oh, we have bonus stuff here for some reason. Oh, okay. Aha! So we got... Stupid walking. I'm good at tricks. Ah, oh, these jerks are quick. Phew! This is a cute little tactics game. I like it. It is. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die! That was close. Was. We got more gumption. A horse. Horse is going to crazy. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a good... I'm a friend, okay? <laughs> it's cool, all right? We... Out. <laughs> look him in the eyes. Finally look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand-yard stare. But the other is revolving madly in its socket like it's he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little, now that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Pat his nose. Carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. It seems to recognize they aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull of his. That's a good boy. <clears throat> Feed him the oats. Hungry boy, I got a little treat for ya. Feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats. And it gallops away with a whinny. Or rather, a... <laughs> Hopefully he's headed home and not into the twelfth dimension. Cool. Crap. Yikes. Now hold up, how do I use these skills? I don't know. Turn it so that it's highlighted. Oh. Huh. Ah. Let's see, well... Let's just get out of here. Uh, we can't really do much in the ore hole mine right now. But let's go back and tell him we have two of his horses. Got 300 meat. We got the pale horse back. And the crazy horse. Uh, bust my knee while walk, mucking out the showroom to ask me how. Why'd you do that? Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. So hey, one more horse and we will almost have enough to get a horse. Well, that's a little lackluster. We will catch you guys next time. We're going to reboot the computer, do some other stuff in between episodes. But we are definitely doing more of West of Loathing. Yeah. Bye, everyone.
Oh, and make sure you click the eye if you want more videos and the two squares. Click that big old circle right in the middle where that cactus is. Right. If you want to subscribe. See y'all later.